Hey, this is Eddie. Uh, today what I wanted to do in this quick video was show you uh, in a roundabout way uh, how to go about creating your electrical design. Uh, now if you're pulling building permits, the electrical design is going to be part of the building permit process. Right? They're going to want to see your light fixtures, your switches, your outlets, and how things are connected to make sure that you, uh, you know, have a rough idea what you're going to be doing down there uh, to make sure things are safe and uh, mostly to make sure that your your lighting and your outlets and whatnot are up to code. So I'm going to go ahead into my Home Designer Suite 2012 program uh, which I used not only to design my basements and come up with the floor plans. I created this floor plan you're looking at here for one of my clients. Um, I also use it for the electrical design as well. And I still have one or two things to take back out of here. I'm going to get rid of that light there and the switch here because we're going to be putting them all back in here in just a second. All right, so when I start with my electrical design, um, and you don't have to do it in this order. You can do it in any order you want. This is just the way that I do it. The first thing that I do while I have a blank canvas here with no electric is I go ahead and I put in my lights. So I'm going to click on the library button up here, go to library browser, and I'm going to type in over here in the search box, light. I'm going to go down to my recess lights, which is what I use the most in the basement. And I'm going to grab my recessed down light 6, which is a 6 inch can, click on the icon, and then carry these lights back over into my drawing. Now, um, I'm not going to get into the code reasons why I'm putting everything where I'm putting it. I get into that more in my, in my training. But um, at the base of the steps, you need a code light. I'm going to drop one right in here at the base at the landing. All right, so there's a 6 inch recessed light that I've just put in to my plan. Now I'm going to go ahead through. I'm going to put all my recessed lights in. I'm going to put another one in over here. It's going to be kind of dark around the corner here. Jump over into the bath. Put one in the uh, in the shower. In the activity area, I'm going to go ahead and pop in four here. Four should be plenty in an area that size. Now I could put more in. I could put less in. Um, but four seems like the right amount for this area. The exercise area, I'm just going to go ahead and put two in here for this example. I could put more in here. The family room, I'm going to drop six in here. Right over top of the seating area here so they have plenty of light to read and do what they're going to do over here in the family room. All right, over in the uh, utility area, I'm going to put one in front of the washer and dryer here. One over top of it. One over here uh, in front of the, the, the laundry sink and then one over here uh, to work on the on the furnace. If somebody's got to come in here and change the filter or do maintenance on the furnace. Um, you can even pop another one in on the other side of the furnace, back in this dark area back here. I think they have an electrical panel box back there, so they're going to need a light back there as well. Okay, now for the bathroom, I'm going to need some other fixtures as well. I'm going to need a, a light fan combo in there. Got to have a fan in the bathroom, so I'm going to type fan, and I'm going to go down to that device. And I'm going to use the exhaust light, click on that, drag that into the bathroom, and put one right, right out here in the middle. Get a little light and fan action out there. And then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to type in light bar, and I'll go down to light bar. And right here we see light bar with mirror. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to put that right over top of our vanity, right there like that. And that should do it for lights. Okay, so the next thing that I have to do is I have to put my switches in. So I'm going to type switch in the library browser. And I'm going to be using a combination of three-way switches, which turn a light on or a group of lights on from two different locations, and some single-pole switches, which just turn a light on or a group of lights on from one location. So we'll start with our three-way switches. I know I'm going to need uh, two at the bottom of the stairs, so I'm going to go ahead and put those in. Uh, come back through the activity area here and put another one in right here, on the other side. Put another one around the corner here in the exercise area. Over here on this column here, I'm going to put one here, another three-way there, and at the top of the stairs, I'm going to put another one. Okay, that's it for the three-way switches. Now I'm going to go down to uh, single pole switch, click on that. I need another one of those here at the base of the steps. I'll need probably three in the bathroom. 
and the laundry room. Come in the door. We'll have one there. Um, and I'll need another one over here in the family room. That's it for my switches. All right, so now we have our lights and our switches. Now we have to make the connection between the switches and the light fixtures. So we're going to go back up here to our electric icon, click the drop down, and go to connect electrical. Click on that icon. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our cursor from the switches to the lights that they're going to turn on and off. So we'll start with this three-way switch, and we'll go from this light to here to here to here and back to this three-way switch. So now if I come down the steps, I can turn on these four lights here at this three-way switch, walk through the activity area, and turn it back off over here. We'll go from this three-way switch here to these two lights in the exercise area back over here to this three-way switch so we can walk through the exercise area and turn it back off before we enter the family room. And then the family room is just on a single switch, uh, which will turn on these six lights. So I'll go to each one of those lights from the switch and end it here on this light. At the bottom of the stairs, we're going to take the middle three-way switch to the light at the bottom of the stairs up to the top of the steps so we can turn the light on when we come up to the top of the steps and back off at the bottom of the steps three-way switch that's code and stairways this little single switch here is only going up to one light right here I'm going to turn this light on here as we go over to our laundry room to inside the unfinished utility we're going to go from switch to light to light to light and back to light so I'm going to have all four of those lights come on with one switch I don't have to I could split this up and turn these two on around the furnace on another switch or even make these pull chains if I wanted to because we're in an unfinished area. But for simplicity's sake, for this diagram, uh, for this plan, I'm going to put them on one switch. In the bathroom, the single switch here will go to the vanity light over the sink. The middle switch will go to the light in the shower. The first single switch will go to the light fan combo. And that takes care of the bathroom connections. All right, so that quickly we put our lights in. We put our switches in and we've connected all of our lights to all of our switches. It's done. And this is the way that we will wire this project when we start the electrical process on this basement for this client. That's exactly how it's going to get wired. And that shows the township that that's how we're going to wire it. And it also proves to the township that we know what we're doing. Because when they see this type of uh, electrical design, they know you know what you're doing. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do this. All right. Now what we're going to do is put our outlets in. So we're going to go back up to the electrical area here at the top. Go to the drop down and they have a thing called auto place outlets. I'm going to click on that. And what that's going to do is when I click anywhere in any room, it's going to automatically put the outlets in that area to code. So in the activity area, I'm going to click and it's going to probably put outlets all through the exercise area family room as well because it's one big open area. All right. So let's click anywhere in here, and it should put them in. And there you go. These represent outlets. Now, if I wanted to add more outlets than what the automatic outlet placement device puts in, I just go back up here to the drop down at the electrical tools, click on one 10 volt outlet. Let's say I wanted another outlet here at the base of the steps. I click one there. Uh, maybe another one behind the exercise equipment here. Maybe one behind each couch. Um, you know, wherever you need more, behind a, a desk over here, or computer equipment, you can put two. Okay, that's how easy it is to put your outlets in. Now that pretty much completes um, our electrical design for our permit process. All right, so when you hear someone talk about your electric design, this is what they're referring to. Um, this is a design for how the electric's going to be laid out and how everything is interconnected between the switches and the lights and where all of your outlets are going to be. All right, now you could go back over here to the browser and type in outlet. And it'll bring up um, GFI outlets here. In the bathroom, it's code that you have to have a GFI outlet by the sink. So we'll grab a GFI outlet, come in here, and we'll put one right up here above the sink, right there. So, you know, you can plug your shaver into, your curling iron, your hair dryer, whatever. And if, if uh, for some reason that... Uh, device would get wet, uh, it would pop the breaker in the in the protected circuit and nobody would get shocked. So you have to have GFI protected outlets wherever there's a water situation. So you need it here. You need another one in here. Let's say that you had a uh, 
a pump in here to pump the water from your laundry sink up and out because you're below grade. You put another GFI outlet right here uh, to plug your pump into. All right? That would also be another situation where you would need a GFI outlet. If I had a wet bar, I would need any outlets near the bar area to be on GFI protected circuits as well. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to do this quick video for you to show you how uh, you would go about using the uh, computer program to uh, come up with your basement electric design and uh, be able to put all these devices into the floor plan so that when you take your plans to the township, to your city for uh, approval for your project, the code officer will look at your plan and see that uh, you do indeed have your uh, electrical design finished. All right, I'm Eddie Case. Thanks for watching and good luck with your basement electric design.